don't think it's safe for you to be typing like that. Welcome back to Suladan Place, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time, we finished up here and HK-47 has a mission for us. And why must you have weapons when you die? It's fascinating to me that they didn't uh, move that. Anyway, I'm going to stop staring at that because it's frying my brain for some reason. Uh, let's see, T Legos. That's right, I have been to Dan Toy. Okay. I, I was just mentally going over where we'd been before, and I thought, I had a, I've only completed one planet. And I'm like, no, wait, we did Dan Toy before, and I should have. Uh, anyway, rambling aside, we're going to Telos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're not home. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter, it is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we'll need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. She's like, oh mistress, no. is there something wrong? Oh no, Kreia. I am tired. <laughs> I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. I will meditate upon the end of all things. It shall clear my mind. No. Anyway. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. Let's tick off Just your ignore surge. him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Right. Let's get you open. See what you can do. I have to say, you are put together quite well. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. You are now part remote. Also, I'm slightly... Oh good, nothing else is happening. I'm slightly puzzled by the fact that Goto refers to himself. Like, I'm trying to think of how to put this. Is the actual Goto remotely piloting the droid, or does the droid have a copy of Goto's personality, or is the droid Goto? Yes, I know his name is go to but I assume that he's not the actual Goto and that he's just, like, his emissary or whatever, but I don't know. It would be funny if he turned out that that was actually Goto himself. Anyway, let's... Uh... You can come with us, and HK-47 is obviously coming with us. For reasons. For reasons that are not at all veiled. Because literally, you know why we came here. Um. Fast. There's two reasons. Uh, no, that's just the doors. That's not a teleport terminal. No, we've got to use the terminal. Uh. I like the airlock. Except when I'm in a hurry. That I don't remember where things are. That is not what I want. I don't know where. Is it here? Yes! 
Yo, police -a mum So you've returned. Found a solution to your fuel problems. I'm confused by the first one, but I'm sure it has to do with something that happened while we were here. Really? That's great news. The situation here hasn't improved at all. What did you discover? Voga the Hut's looking for markets for his fuel. Voga the Hut? That's preposterous. What makes you think we'd be willing to do that? Voga's got a lot of fuel from Slaheron, and he really needs to sell it. A glut of fuel isn't going to help our position much in this case. It's a resource that's needed throughout the galaxy, and he'll be able to command a high price for it. Still, we don't have much of a choice. We need fuel, and we need it fast. I'll bring this up with the Telosian Council and urge them to broker a deal with Voga. Now, I believe I gave you my word that there would be a reward for information leading to the establishment of a fuel source for the station. Yeah. Never believed for a moment that you'd actually be collecting it. But I'm a man of my word, so here you are. Now, I've got to send this information to the Council right away. Ten million credits, right? Where are we going now? Eh, yeah, thousand credits. That's not bad at all. Onward! Uh, HK. <laughs> I wore him like a suit for a moment. Now, um. Excuse me. Finding the HK factory. Telos military base. Buddy, where. He's this. Buddy, where is the Telos military base? Is it underneath the police station? I'm just gonna be snooping around in here, don't mind me. Oh, that's a door house. Uh, uh, okay, where... <laughs> Tilo's military state. Yo, Tia. We've received some reports that the Miraluka colony of Qatar was destroyed, with no survivors. I should look at the map. There, that's where I came from. Docking bay, docking bay, docking bay. Information terminal. Yo, where's the military? It swaps back to your default ability. I know, I forget. I haven't done a lot of back and forthing through loading screens lately. Um, residential, the cantina, TSF station, military base, military base, military base, military base. We're just gonna go one map at a time until I find the military base. Obviously isn't something they would hide in the slightest. I really don't think that it's gonna just be out in the open. Zerka, shuttle bag, apartments, apartments, apartments. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <coughs> <Ugh>. <coughs> you did say medical, I mean mi military, not medical. Why are you, oh. The vibration of my voice is tickling something in there. Bavarium. Um. I think I found a problem. <coughs> so... After a good many sneezes and a quick Google search, yeah, apparently you don't, you can't actually go there until, uh, it just said continue with the game as normal. You cannot go there yet. Very sad. On the other hand, I guess back to the ship and we'll figure out where we're going. Will you stop healing yourself? You're fine. Uh, I just gotta remember where the information is. Yes, yes, transit, dock module, go back to the ship, because coming here was pointless. I'm guessing it's back when we were outside and there was the whole restoration zone thing, that it was probably that quote-unquote military base, but I, I don't know. 
Tis sad. Tis very sad. Whatever the case, I guess we gotta pick another planet, because my plans for today are not going where I thought they were. My plans for today were to raid an HK factory. Okay, so we can't go here. It will not let us, sadly. We've been there, we've been there. So we've got Andron or Korriban. Andron or Korriban. Andron or Korriban. Korriban's the Sith planet, right? No. What's the one we went to in the last game? I don't remember. The I'm bad with names on a good day. So, I say go to Andron. Ooh, forest. Volcanic. Yeah, we'll save Volcanic for last. That one sounds cool. Not that a forest isn't cool, but, uh... In the interest of most video games saving the volcano area for last, we're gonna save the volcanic area for last, so let's go to... I already forgot what I picked. Onderon? Bag it up. Bag it up. Go that way. There we go. Out the door. Into space! Hmm, just sad though. Um. Um. I feel like I may have just joined a war. I, I think that, I think there's a, I think there might be a- Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. If they decide to do a cargo search, we're gonna be in trouble. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. Oh, I have joined a war and I'm on the wrong side. Also, what do we have in our cargo? Mobile little thing, ain't we? Zoom! We've taken some hits! Nah. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. Jungle Moon sounds fascinating, and I want to go there. On the other hand, I'm decent with the turrets. Hmm. Game, you've given me... Uh, fine, turrets it is! You asked for this. I. Who's shooting me? Okay, that's right, use the... I don't know who's shooting at me. Oh, there's the radar, okay. Uh, which ones are shooting at us? Oh, those, okay, I can't aim that far down. Um, do you remember what I said about being good with the turrets? I lied, I lied. I got one. I don't like when they fly below my horizon. Aha. Fine, I'll aim for the other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna die so bad. Two! Ah! Three! He's just hanging out right below my firing line. Four! Five! Six! Got him! I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna put us down on that jungle moon. I get my cake and eat it too. Cloudy moon. Huh. I don't know if 
if I'd call this a jungle. Very cloudy though. Very rocky. Unless those are trees and I'm just completely missing the scale here. Oh yeah, those are trees. More foresty than jungly though. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. Well, I mean, you're a Jedi. You'll get used to it. Um, how badly is the ship damaged? Pretty badly, by the sound of the alarms that were going off. It's taken a little damage. Nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Ah. So what now? Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Can you stop carving up the pilot seat? I know you like it and all, and like, don't sharp. Anyway, whatever. Don't sharpen your sword on the chairs. So where'd we land? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. I mean, honestly, it looks like a flat PNG that you've pasted over a window. <coughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, we need to get to Onderon. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We My should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Aye. Okay, outpost it is. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Nice fade out, but she clipped through the wall of the ship there at the end. I love the, uh, the camera panning back and fading out, though. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go for it. Uh, at... Well, how dare you? How dare... Actually, hang on. Can I... Can't, well, I was gonna stay in the ship and, you know, go talk to people, but whatever. I guess Bowder's coming with us. Sure. I was gonna go talk to some people in the ship, but... The fact that the game wouldn't let me cancel out of that and I just had to do that is... Uh, uh no, I've no. still got repairs to finish up here. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Might as well explore the area and see what's out there. Can I help? No, it's nothing too complicated. It'll just take a while. Welcome Besides, two people in an access hatch won't speed anything up. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can find. Wait, I put... Okay, that's the first cutscene that plopped me down where the cutscene was. Probably not the first one, but... You get the point. Yo, Handmaiden! Yes? We ain't talked in a while. Can you teach me fighting moves? I think you are ready for the final tier I wish to teach. You have made much progress. For this, Yay. you may use any melee weapon and any shields you possess, but nothing else. No Jedi Saber, and no other items. 
But the Jedi Saber is the only weapon I use. Uh, we shall begin this final lesson then. Can you not? You did say any armor, what? You did say it. No, any weapon and any shield, not any armor. Okay. Ah, uh, sure, the weapon of the honor duels. I got a pointy stick. Can I stay, says you? No Jedi power. Uh... I broke it. Really back in, really back in. Uh, no. Okay, let's try take two. Um, that's my bad force of habit. No, I didn't listen. Yes. Lighting I move. No lightsaber, no force power. Shields and melee we shall weapons. Okay, so yeah, don't use... F <laughs> I was about to use uh, night speed, so yeah, let's not. I'ma die. I'ma die. I'm not dying. Excellent. Ow! Yeah, I'm sure that did that. That's just a flesh wound. I win! Atris was correct about you. You know war, its motions and currents. There is nothing more I can teach you. We were outside the ship. Then maybe I can teach you. You seem to be anticipating my attacks. The third is a good question, but I don't want to go there. It is the way of the Ichani to be able to read their opponents, to know where an opponent is going to strike before it connects, anticipate it, and then strike against them. Ichani battles are fought several minutes in advance. In many ways, it is much like the game of Dejarik, played in the core systems. The most advanced among the Ichani are able to predict the course of battles by months, and the most revered are said to be able to predict the path of wars. Only Revan ever demonstrated such skill in war. And even as he slaughtered us, the Ichani still respected him. So it's the opposite of Ultra Instinct. You're looking forward instead of not thinking at all. Got it. Got it. Can you teach me to do this? You are already doing it. Fancy. What do you mean? If you do not know you are doing it, then training will make you a dangerous opponent indeed. Come. As we fight more, I will teach you. Do not think about predicting my movements. React instinctively. I did. You are doing better. At first, I was afraid that your awareness of your own ability might ruin it, but that is not the case. You learn quickly. Perhaps it is your connection to the Force that allows such things, but I do not think so. Now you fight as an Ichani warrior fights, always in the future. I feel like we time skipped over something there, and it just. Okay. You've gained battle precognition. It allows you to add your wisdom bonus to defense and combat. <sighs> Finally, a reason for me to keep putting points in wisdom. My endless force points. Yay, I gained influence. Now put your clothes on, lady. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Which button was it again? Ma'am. You just get the first item I find. Okay, good enough. Can I have my, uh... I don't remember what it's called. Is it the ceremonial armor? Nope. Job. Advisor. There we go. I need my lightsaber. Yes. 
Okay, now I need to go say hi to, I guess I could talk to Kray and ask her if my rock needs to be leveled up. Yo! You are spending time with the servant of Atris. Uh, uh, maybe. So what? I knew her mother. She was a Jedi Knight, a master named Aaron Kai. Jedi are forbidden to have children. And when the crime finally came to light almost a decade later, Kai was exiled. She joined the Mandalorian Wars after the shame of her birth was revealed. Okay, how do you know that? Revan welcomed her. And she was said to be a skilled warrior, beautiful and strong in the Force. The Force flows strongly in the blood of those born from Force sensitives. I doubt that Aaron was any different. If the servant of Atris is of her blood, then the potential lies within her. If you train her, if you teach her the ways of the Jedi, you will be asking her to break her oath to Atris. It would be best not to train her, and let the bloodline die with Telos. Are you saying Telos is going to be blown up? Such foreshadowing. Probably not, but really, you're not going to blow up two planets in one game. Um, you said... You said teach her the ways of the Jedi. Curious choice of words. Ah, that was an interesting choice of words indeed. She has sworn not to follow the path of the Jedi by her oath, but even that oath is limited. One does not need to be Jedi to learn the ways of the Force. I suspect it cares little for our codes and philosophies. Hmm. Are you proposing teaching her the ways of the Sith? I propose nothing except what you choose to read into my words. But no, I would not advocate such teachings either. Good, now I am only I. saying that she has sworn not to follow the teachings of the Jedi, and that is a curious distinction in her oath. But we were speaking of the servant of Atris. I would caution you to be careful of your interaction with her. She is not as tempered as you. Hmm. Shouldn't she know her heritage? Should she? By whose judgment should such truths be revealed? I do not have such arrogant presumptions. The Jedi separate children from their parents as they did you. It is because family exerts a powerful influence on one's development. I am merely saying that revealing such things can have profound consequences, nothing more. Right. Uh, I have questions. Before you continue questioning me, I hope your thoughts in the matter concerning this servant of Atris are clear. Spend time with her if you must, but recognize where your true loyalties lie to the galaxy and yourself. I... None of these responses are going to result in good things for me. Ah, uh, but I'm going to go with the loyalties lie to my friends and allies. Nothing I say here is not going to tick, uh... Kreia off. I completely mind-blanked on what her name was for a moment. Excuse me. Ah, so it is loyalty you claim when you squander away your time with her. Never have you wondered what it would mean in the Ichani rituals if the two of you sparred and fought and you won completely and utterly? If perhaps she would give in, surrender herself to you? Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind. Exile. And such passions are not strength, but erosion. Uh, that sounds like a ritualistic betrothal ceremony, but, uh... I, uh, let's see. Mm. My feelings are not like that and you know it, I guess. I don't know at this point. No? Then perhaps I was simply mistaken. Very well. I shall keep such judgments to myself. I had questions. Yes? Tell me about my crystal. That crystal is bonded to... Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Ah! Remove it from your lightsaber, then ask me about it again. 
Is there something else you wished? Ah, the going now. <sighs> You're gonna make this a whole thing, ain't you? That is not where I'm trying to go. I don't know my way around my own ship. I know, it's sad, ain't it? Uh, use the workbench. Lightsaber, upgrade. Where's my other stuff? Okay, so hang on. Attack one, two, two, three. Wow, do I not have any other upgrades? Uh, attack one, two, two, three. I'm trying to remember what it was so that if it changes, I'll recognize it. Yes, have you... Uh, crystal. That crystal is bond yes. most interesting. Your crystal... Is there some... Did I not remove it? Game, your workbench system confuses me. Apparently, this is the direction I needed to go. Anyway, let's try it again. Lightsaber upgrade. Assemble. Alright, we just gonna ignore that. Yes. Again. Rock. That crystal. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Now it is fully in tune with you again. Is Yay! there something? I lost an item. I gained an item. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm going fast now. Item. Lightsaber. Rock. Glows dimly. Didn't it before do a bright white? I mean... I mean, the, the plus four to wisdom is welcomed. Now, if only it would show me what the... I'm confused, but okay, we're gonna go with that. Oh. <gasps> I can upgrade this. Heat shielding. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yay! Ah, I made my armor fancy. We still haven't left the ship. Uh, HK clearly doesn't have anything else to say. I need to go talk to Visas because I need to make sure I didn't break it. My life for yours. Good, you're still fine. I had questions. I will answer what I can. How do you see through the Force? It is difficult to explain. I see. I don't have enough influence for it. How do I... My life. Uh... Teach you some of the techniques I've learned in my travel, sure. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. You learned the breath thing up, yes. I understand now. My life. Did I gain no influence for that? I will answer... Tell me about your home world. It is not a subject which I have spoken of Yay. since its destruction. Well, I was going to ask nice, friendly things like, can you describe it for me to make you think about pretty things, but... How, how did your master destroy a... Does the bus say impossible? It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The Force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. 
For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. I'm going to make the influence You have down, strengths, whether excited. you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes oh, from wait, hunger. I've, yeah, I've heard and those who feel the force... Yep, 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 yep. Are we going now? Okay, we'll save that for later. I'm going to break something if I keep trying. Anyway... Today did not go in the direction I'd hoped. I wanted to go to the HK factory, but apparently we're not allowed to go there. So, uh, next time we'll begin exploring a jungle moon, which is a fun word to... Fun phrase, fun combination of words. In any case, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.